Namaste. Join me tomorrow, Tuesday, 9th July 2024, at 3.30 Indian Standard Time, via a special Zoom session at the Indus Valley Ayurvedic Center. I will be diving deep into yoga psychotherapy, a pioneering approach that bridges the ancient wisdom of yoga with the transformative power of psychotherapy. On this journey, we will explore how this integrative method can address the complex challenges of our modern lives. The link is in the comments. You can start now. Okay. Great. Good. Good. So, yeah. Perfect. So, to begin with, just to introduce the topic for the day, uh, I'll tell you a story. So, once the the master entered the hall, which is filled with a group of students, and he asked, how many of you are willing to work with your body? Or how many of you are here to work with your body? And the certain percentage of students said, Yes, it's me. I'm ready to work with my physical body. And then he asked, how many of you are ready to work with your mind? And a certain percentage of students said, I'm here to, you know, fix my mind, work with my mind. He took a pause and said, well, those of you who want to work with your body, kindly leave your mind outside the room. And those of you who want to work with your mind, please leave your body outside and come back. And just stay with whatever you want to work with. Uh, and they laughed all together. Yeah. But the moral of the story is, no matter whether you do yoga, asana, workout, whether you sit and meditate, no matter what you do, there is always body, mind. They're together all the time. All the and this can be explained in a, in a very in an interesting way. I mean, if you're carrying your cell phone, can you just pull out your cell phone? Like, whatever you have. And take a look at your cell phone. Don't, don't just start scrolling. But if you just hold your cell phone and look at it and ask, what's the value? What's the value of this cell phone? And I really want you to do this because this is an interesting exercise. If you can just join me and take part. Pull out your cell phone if you have, if you, if you are not carrying your cell phone, imagine that you're holding your cell phone, look at it and say, um, what's the value of this cell phone? What comes to your mind? And I'm not referring to the, the price tag of your latest cell phone that you might be carrying. I'm talking about the value and the value of the cell phone is its utility. If you are stuck in traffic, sorry, I said connections with my family, connection with your family. That's exactly what I'm going to say. So it, it's, it's like that. Huh? If you're stuck in the traffic and you need to inform your family, this is priceless. Your small kid is, uh, you need to pick up your kid from the school and you are late. You can connect with them. You're sitting in one part of the world and communicate to your family, to the other part of the world by using the cell phone. You can do your business, you can do your work. So the value is immense. And um, this is valuable because in the cell phone, uh, three things are working in a wonderful synchronized manner and that makes it very unique that is the hardware irrespective of what brand and what make of cell phone you're using there is an hardware some electronics they need to function at their best for you to operate the cell phone and the cell phone is also run on certain software whether it's a WhatsApp, your Facebook or Instagram, it runs on some software that has to cooperate with the hardware. And the third part is there should be enough battery in your cell phone. Otherwise, it's a piece of metal. So no use, no use. junk. So the same thing is applied with, uh, 
with us the human beings we are a blend of hardware software and the energy system now what has happened in the in the western understanding things are changing thankfully but uh, in the till the last 20 30 years back we were talking body and mind so there is an end there's a difference there's a something called as a body which is the physical body and there's something called as a mind they're separate and thankfully with this uh, with this growth in alternative medicine with the growth of mind body medicine now we are saying body and mind but still in the backdrop of our mind we have this understanding they're separate they're not together and that's a that's a some that is something that you have to understand for the last 5 7 10000 years in himalayan subcontinent we talked about body and mind as one we never said body and and mind they're one and the same thing the mind is the subtle part of the body and the body is the more tangible gross part of the mind mind and they are and they always working with each other influencing each other and it's like a it's a tango it's a dance that is taking place in a very harmonious manner and when when saying this is because if we understand this much then we know that when we are connecting to this idea of uh, body mind based therapy psychotherapy or yoga psychotherapy we are not trying here to fix the mind we are not trying to fix the body rather we understand the interdependence the correlation of body mind or as they are the two sides of the same coin and how they can influence each other why we why we want to understand this because the thing the world has changed in the in the last decade we have i can say unfortunately we have become very visual in nature anything that is not visible doesn't exist health has equated into how you look so so you can feel very different inside your body but in on the surface if you have a a photogenic body and if you are managing to have a six pack and a flat abs you will be considered as unhealthy inside you can feel very miserable but if you can maintain a smile on your face as you interact with the world you will be considered as an happy person you can you can be having multiple cups of coffee and energy drink to keep your energy level up but if you are very uh, outspoken and uh, dynamic and extroverted you will be considered as yes you are a person who's participating in life now now all of these parameters are somehow a bit faulty because Uh, when we look through the lens of yoga and uh, even ayurveda we clearly understand that um, there is health is more than what is visible on the surface it is important it to be reflecting on the surface indeed i mean if you are present right now in indus valley and going through the various ayurvedic therapies you know it one thing that you are not there just to polish the surface the beauty is coming from within you you might be going through panchakarmas and other uh, important therapies to bring that inner transformation but but will that transformation be sustainable will those transformation remain uh, or will create an impact that will last for another 6 months to a year or more that will largely depend on how your hardware which is the physical body is communicating with your software 
and how, and how you tap into, into the, the, energy into the energy supply. If your if your prana, chi, and energy is depleted, and I'm not saying this in a uh, trying to being critical on you, rather I'm saying in a, in a very factual way. If if my energy is not up to the mark, I can have the best of the best software. I can have a best hardware, but they're not gonna run. It will be like a Ferrari on a square wheel. It is not going to move. So the, so the idea might be, what can I do? How can my body help my mind to enhance the, the, the overall quality of my life? How my mind can help the physical body to have to an enhanced quality of life? And how can I have a Sustainable energy. How can I reduce the energy depletion? Depletion. Or if I if I use the word in that we use these days, how can I have a longer battery life? I should not be looking around every two hours to find a socket to put my myself to charge. That is, if that is happening, it's an indication. Maybe something requires. Um, you know, I need to go back to the drawing board and to think if I can improve something. Now, once said that, we are also living in a world. We say we are living in a modern world, civilized world. You can dial 112 or 911 or in India 100 for a broken bone, a broken physical part of your body. But you cannot dial 100 if you are having a broken heart. If you are having an emotional breakdown, there is no as such ambulance that's going to come and so at, show up at your doorstep and say, Hey, I'm here to give you the needful support that you might need to enhance the quality of your life. Because... because Somehow, Some the understanding has happened that, oh, the mind will find mind its way. Find Just it. cheer up. Just cheer. You know, we live in this well, age where there are Instagram, and I'm not against social media, please don't get me wrong, uh, solutions. Two steps to cheer up. Just smile. It will be okay. Think positive. You will be okay. Uh, and this kind of solutions for our, our mental emotional upliftment and conditioning sometimes they do work of course sometimes we just need to pull ourselves up and to be remain cheerful and to look into the bright side of life but are they sustainable can they help us to grow into a better being and that's where uh, the signs and I'm using the word, the science and the philosophy of yoga, Ayurveda, or our, as we call in India, the Sanatana Dharma comes into play. And this is a beautiful thing, which is not necessarily solution centric. It is not there to fix you because you are not broken at first place. When you are chanting the mantra, Om Purnamadam Purnavidam, the understanding is very simple that you are already complete. There is a totality in you that cannot be, uh, is, is not broken. How can you be broken if you are part of that cosmic wisdom and understanding and power? But yes, uh, there is a possibility of evolution. So, one of the key factors that differentiates uh, yogic psychology or yogic psychotherapy from the western understanding is we don't look at you and say you are broken and you need to be fixed rather you are just like me and anybody else can walk on the path of evolution there is a school for you and us to become better and how can we go to that stage well that's where the 
the art and the science of yoga comes into play because it is not just practice. There is also a philosophy. Um, if you are familiar with martial art, if you have practiced martial art, if you know something about martial art, you might have heard the term judo. And there is also another term, jujitsu. There is something called as a kendo, and there is something called kenjutsu. So there is a the the suffix are do or jutsu. You know what's, what does it mean? That what's the difference between a do and a jutsu? The do means a lifestyle. Anything judo, it's a lifestyle. And jitsu, whatever it finishes with this word, it indicates technique. Kendo will teach you the philosophy of how to work with the stick and the martial art practices. Uh, and and kenjutsu will teach you how to have an attack and how to play with this. Our Sanatana Dharma, Yoga and Ayurveda is both. It is a do and Jutsu. It has a philosophy and a practice. It has a psychological foundation and a very strong lifestyle uh, principles that you and me, we all can practice. And um, one thing that makes this practice very unique is there is no formula of one size fits all. As you go through your morning consultation to the doctor, doctor is not saying these are the five steps I think that you have to follow. Thank you. Next. No. The person is taking your pulse, checking your tongue, understanding your very unique physio-psychological structure and how you are manifesting that thing in this particular day. And based on that, the course of treatment and therapies are designed. And that is a very beautiful thing. There is a this understanding of how the Vata, Pitta, Kapha and how the three Gunas Sattva, Rajas, Tamas are functioning within us to be understood before we can design a journey of evolution. So, actually, as truth must be told, in yoga there is no such as a yoga psychotherapy because, again, to be therapeutic, you have to be first uh, to be considered that there is something dysfunctional. So you need a healing. It's on the contrary. Yoga is about evolution. So wherever you are, you are in the right place and your journey begins from your doorstep and we continue the following steps. Understanding our body-mind mix. So we don't put people in the boxes. And this is essential because the moment we take a step back and we understand where we are, we are offering ourselves the possibility to go through a process of reset and we can restart. Now, we can talk theories on and on, but let's do something as you all are present uh, here. Let's get in contact with this body mind, not body and mind, and do some practice. Can I kindly invite you all to join me for a short contemplative practice? Please nod your head and say yes to this because no is not an optional answer. Thank you. Um, all you have to do is don't move too much, just get a slightly more upright. Preferably your hands are on your lap or place it in a very comfortable manner, however you want. And you're going to go through a process of self-diagnosis, if I may say the, use the word. Close your eyes as only thing that will be essential right now is for you to listen. Take some time. There's no rush for you to push yourself to a meditative state or something, allow yourself to connect with your physical body. 
starting at your toes, move your awareness through the legs, hips, back. Feel the arms, abdomen, neck, head. And let's try doing it one more time, much slower. Bring the awareness to your both feet. Feel your both of the feet inside your shoes, in contact with the floor. Observe how you are keeping your ankle joint. Are they tensed? Are they tight? Observe the lower leg, the calf muscle, shin bone. Feel your knees, your thighs, your hips resting on the chin bed. Feel the lower abdomen. Feel the rib cage. Right arm. Left arm. Neck. And your whole facial muscle. Feel the body from the back, on the sides. And as you do so, observe the entire landscape of your hardware hung. Feel the body, the whole body. And as you feel the body, you might notice that you are able to release certain amount of contraction, tension from the body. Once you're able to do that, without making much of a movement, Ask yourself, what are the needs of my hardware? What can I do today to upgrade the hardware? And then spend some moments in exploring the software. What are the thoughts? The thoughts triggering emotion, emotion reinforcing the thought. And there is a loop between thinking and feeling and feeling and thinking. thinking. What I have felt the most since this morning, morning. what I have thought repetitively since this morning. And you are not judging yourself, observing yourself. There is no criticism taking place. You are taking notes of your Mental, mental and physical, and physical landscape stay. and do check also, check also what's the quantum of quantum energy? energy how much energy do I have within me right now in a scale of quantum to what extent my batteries are charged now you're not again altering anything you're just acknowledging your inner state and then check. Can you, Can you connect, connect the mind, mind, the body, and the spirit? spirit. Maybe by using your breathing, breathing for a few times. For a few times. By taking a few conscious breaths, connect the body with the mind, with the mind and with the energy. And, and in your own time, in your own time you... you Open, open your eyes. Now, before you go dissipate your awareness, the invitation here is to ask yourself, did I felt any sense of being at home, being easy, being present with myself? If the re response is yes, which I'm hoping so it to be. It was very relaxing and calm and... No thoughts were there because following instructions and just doing it. So at some point, it faded and then came back as well. Okay. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. This, what, 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 we, what, tried what we tried to create, and, and some of you might have experienced if you participated in this, we connected the body, the breath, body, and the mind and the spirit together. together. And when these three are connected, we, we, we move into this eco mode, you know, 
you're driving your electric car or this hybrid car at beyond a certain speed the car automatically moves into the eco mode and it consumes a very little amount of fuel and we go into them and that is the state which is which is where we rejuvenate our body mind and spirit that is the state where your hardware receives the healing energy and we can talk in depth as well because that's the state where your parasympathetic nervous system dominates you feel safe within yourself to look at yourself in its totality and you say let me enjoy my presence let me be at home so this principle Uh, the yogic evolution not not correct before correct you need to connect so before you bring certain amount of correction even in your mind you need to connect it to excuse sir sorry to disturb you some network issue is there sir from your end some glitches are coming sir sir sorry sorry some glitches are coming sir while you are talking some glitches are there glitches are there what kind of glitches my yeah, sir uh, like a hearing so uh, some stucking are there okay why is breaking sir why is breaking i have a very very good signal i can repeat so i'll try okay, i mean now it Right. It was because someone else had the microphone, mm-hmm. so they had the microphone on. That's why. Oh, okay. Now it's fine. Now it's fine. Sorry, I, I'll I'll have to make sure that so everybody's microphone is now on. Yeah, everybody's microphone is on mute. So yeah, okay. So what I'm saying is, because of this connectedness, we we enter into that space where rejuvenation takes place, and. Uh, and This is an essential part that we have to understand uh, when we are talking about uh, the mind. Mental well-being, mental calmness is essential even for our hardware to function better. Sometimes we all have might have experienced this actually. If we don't do the needful upgrade in the software, you know, your your cell phone says please update it. the application and you say no i'm not going to do the upgrade and it starts consuming more battery it slows down slows your phone down. your the phone starts becoming more warm right it happened to everything same happens to human body we need to ask ourselves when was the last time i did a software update and and there are people there are- who might still be running on window 98 or a software that is prehistoric it's done we need an update and this update happens when we connect with this vidya the knowledge which is helping us to understand ourselves better when we understand what is my predominant dosha how i can make food choices based on my body type my psychological type when i should eat and when i should not eat what are my habitual patterns and the way i think and uh, there are some tools we don't have enough time to dig very much in depth to explore each of these but these tools are used in uh, yoga psychotherapy and uh, they're highly effective the first if one uh, the first one if i may say this is ahimsa or non violence now when i use the word non violence uh, i'm not referring that you need to drop eating animal product or what not no 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 you can still continue having all the food and your food choices but the ahimsa towards yourself you know thing is we feel bad for feeling bad we feel sad because i'm sad we get more angry because i am angry you know that feeling that feeling i hate when i'm angry no 
but some human some expression people. taking place within you can we hold a a non-violent sacred space where i understand okay this is my behavior happening right now what could be the root beneath it how can i really understand the the, the seed which is triggering this and if we can go to the depth of the seed, we might be able to remove it because the seed is something we called in Sanatan language, samaskaras, archetypes. As truth must be told, these archetypes, you didn't took it consciously. You didn't went out to Amazon and shopped for this archetype and installed in your system. This is uh, dumped on you. Maybe transgenerationally, maybe from the society, society, maybe the the place where you were born, maybe the lifestyle of your parents and your neighbors and your caregivers. And it's installed now in your system. It is affecting you. But yes, with consciousness, with certain amount of elevated awareness, you have the possibility to do a virus scan and remove that bug and that's where the practices of uh, pratyahara comes into play pratyahara i'm using the word which is basically would mean uh, bringing the senses inward so there are meditative techniques where you just sit and you don't think about God or your guru or an angel or a divine light. None of the above. Rather, you really look at this very unique person, which is yourself. And when you do that, you develop something that's what we call Swadhai. This is a process of self-study. You are understanding the uniqueness of your body mind combination and then you apply that in your day to day life there's another important part when we are doing this process and uh, in this setup we cannot delve deeper into that is the usage of the postures your body is not designed to carry your head from point A to point B your physical body is the hard drive and it stores emotions, it stores feeling, it stores memory. And there is a scientific, sequential, progressive process to declutter what we retain within our body and to desomatize. When we start doing that, automatically there is a sense of elevated awareness, like the glimpse that you might have experienced as we, I was guiding you through this meditative practice just by becoming aware of the physical body some of you might have felt like oh I could relax a bit my mind which is which is maybe a, usually a bit jittery now is a little calmer so these are the steps that we can apply to work with ourselves to transform ourselves and all of these are possible uh, to find a solution for our problems that we are facing in our day-to-day -day life these are the ancient solution for our modern problems on condition they are applicable if I am ready to connect and work with myself so this is, so this this is, is basically, this is basically how the basically steps, steps with which we do the work. I'll be happy if you have any you have question, question, any lead, and we can take it up from there. We are talking about, first of all, thank you for such a nice talk. And uh, you were talking about the seeds, the seeds right? Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. how, how does one, one recognize them? them? I mean, you, you need, need to recognize it before you can work on it, right? Like, so you can connect with full and correct. So how, so how do I connect? connect? And how do I identify this is what I need to correct? Beautiful question. Imagine, imagine. This is a classical example. Imagine there is a 
gold coin that you have dropped on a lake not very deep not very deep how can you find that coin out you have to create a certain amount of stillness on the surface and only when the surface is still you will be able to see through it and then you will not only see the gold coin maybe you will find other things also that can be positive or negative so the foundation is relaxation we need to be relaxed now now in our time we have kind of confused the word relaxation with laziness we might stay on the couch and watch netflix and we consider that oh i'm relaxing no you're not relaxing you're distracted and you're not connected with yourself really so in yoga there is this practice of conscious relaxation and the, there are beautiful meditative practices that you can also practice and the, while you are in ivac the yoga nidra for an example when you're doing this practice your mind automatically loses this turbulent behavior and right after that you will be able to notice the the bubbles of samaskaras or archetypes surfacing from the depth of your consciousness and this is the foundation work and then you can slowly scoop out or remove what needs to be removed in a in a therapeutic setup the the what kind of relaxation or to what depth you need to be relaxed so that you can start surfacing the the archetypes the samaskaras so there can be a, a very curated practice of breathing with relaxation and movement can be provided to you when you you reach to that state much faster to be able to release the samaskaras uh shek i would have one question can you hear me Yes. Okay. Uh see see we are talking about dealing with emotions and here what happens uh, in our common life that whether first thing to can we identify where to start working is this mean whether the acceptance should come first or working on the particular area comes first. Am I clear on the question? So, so accepting that you know out of the all the emotions which is going through me and i'm acting uh-huh. or reacting differently mm-hmm. identifying which one is predominant in me like you said in the practice you know since since, since morning what was, was the major thing was predominant in me in terms of thought and, and that can provoke why the emotion i'm i'm right now having more so, so whether accepting that is the first step towards this journey or uh, to a teacher or a guide guidance like you they can identify it and we can straight go to the action on a, on a guidance so it's whether i start or, or my teacher or guide uh, teacher starts good question very technical question actually this this is uh, there can be multiple approach to this sometime uh, metaphorically speaking you can or a person can put a makeup on themselves without looking at the mirror sometimes the mirror is essential that's the role of the therapist the therapist is working like a mirror who is making you aware of where to look what to be aware of and he gives you an indication that my friend this could be a starting point this seems to be a repetitive pattern in your behavior in your yeah in your behavior which you could address but then there could also be moments when when we can identify okay i am experiencing this and this and this kind of thought or this and this and this kind of emotions on a long term basis can i start working with this in both the cases doing any kind of inner work requires courage 
because you have to look at yourself and see the scope of improvement we do live a lot many times in a in that denial phase where we say no i am perfect the problem is with the world my boss who has an issue it's my colleague who has an issue it's my partner who has an issue but sometimes and actually most of the time the entire world is our reflection so we need to have the courage to do the work and uh then obviously once we have the help of an of a mirror of a therapist the work can be much faster because that can give you a uh, multiple different perspective to look at yourself yeah thank you thank you i think you're right on uh, the area i'm uh, trying to ask so uh the almost session is over so next session we'd love to go for similar talk but uh, more into this particular the first step how to take the first step whether self or our guidance or i think sometime it's a one to one record right so yes. we'd love to see you in a week or alternate week on this particular practical talk right and i think uh, there are some web visitors like um, online if they want to ask some question and then we wrap up thank you you have to unmute or acha those are there they can unmute themselves yeah yeah so if, if anybody with any comment right unfortunately i could have attend a lecture on time time so just catch the the last bits that all is fine my rest to the next one and I'll be forward to share with from you together today uh, thank you everybody thank you i went for you. creating this beautiful virtual platform for this to happen thank you thank you for our side also and if any question comes from our patients come collect and we'll send you through email or whatsapp record, record all the week the week if somebody wants to get in touch with you so we'll make that happen and uh, oh. they can be in touch with you one to one okay absolutely thank absolutely. you have a wonderful day thank you namaste thanks